Billy, this is not okay. Um, you're right. It's more than okay. <laughs> we'll get caught. So let's out ourselves. Really? I want to. Then people will have their suspicions anyway. Who? You're really that worried about people finding out. I just... I want to talk to Joy first. Well, how many more weeks do you need? Okay, but... Okay. Get the door to sign off. I get it. Then let's shout it from the rooftops. Hi, guys. Just on our breaks. Dad. Here, for you. <laughs> A small token, I know, but please believe my admiration is much larger than one puny little flower. It's very sweet, thank you. How you can get up each and every morning and come and hear the sight of so much terror. That, believe me, Selena, if I had a hat, I'd take it off for you. Well, thanks again. No, oh, thank you. Yeah, so... Oh, a local hero. I actually just need to go on. I'm really glad that I bumped into you because I get the feeling that you have been avoiding me. Not at all. Okay. Well, we all deal with trauma in different ways. But sometimes our minds can play tricks on us. We can start to wonder if things that we went through actually happened. Do you know what I mean? I, because I can completely understand if that was the case, you know, if you were to misremember due to trauma. But if it's some pathetic attempt at fame? Who are you calling pathetic? I don't know, Selena, you tell me. Nothing wrong with my memory. Thanks for the concern, though, babe. Okay. No good chat, and we'll pick it up again later. Ready to start? To your surgery. Okay. Scalpel, please. Whew. Good start. Well, he's nervous. Look at his hands, it's shaking. He'll be fine. Is that how it is? Two on one. Oh, come on, of course not. But he's your boyfriend now. Oh, we haven't put a label on it. Well, you should. You guys are cute together. May the best surgeon win, okay? Okay. <laughs> Just fibroid and then the small ones. So why did you go with a myomectomy? Did you consider myolysis or endometrial ablation? Well, I thought due to the size of the patient's fibroid, she'd be better off with a myomectomy. And? Better relief from heavy menstrual bleeding. If she wants to get pregnant in the future, myomectomy is the best option. Why don't we let Harry continue? 20 questions can wait. Being a surgeon, you need to think on your feet. So come on, Harry. Think. Uh, well... Think, Harry. You know the answer. I can't help him. No, I'm not. I'm... He's not even looking at me. Come on, Harry. Can we get on with this? It's part of the assessment. We've all been under a lot of pressure. We don't need to make it worse. Quiet, please. Quickly, Harry, I need an answer. The patient stated that she may want children at a later date. So this is the best way to preserve fertility. Finally. Get on with it then. Okay. Thank you. Oh, yes, he did it. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Nice save. Yeah, right. You saving those kids, it went viral. So have you. He's being a hero runs in the family. Maybe. Definitely. Proud of you, Mom. We're all proud of you. Thanks, but I don't want to make a big deal about it. Confronting the shooter like that and then having the strength to throw yourself back into work. I mean, I don't know how you did it. I'm just doing my bit, you know? <laughs> so modest. Leo Trump, Mom. Listen to him. Hello, Rolly Fale, son. I've got to finish up. Takeaways for tea? Awesome. No gherkins? Okay. No gherkins. Mr. Wallace, a word? <sighs> Sorry, Constable. Bit busy. Can it wait till tomorrow? Unfortunately not. We're double-checking all witness statements, and it seems like we may have gotten yours wrong. Excuse me? One of my staff informed me about an interview you've done. But that was weeks ago. So you can imagine my surprise when it didn't match the statement you gave us. It didn't? It'd be really good to clarify some details. The correct details. I'm sure you can understand the importance of witness testimonies when it comes to investigations. Well, I've got patients I need to see. I checked with Nurse Diaz. She said your shift was over. We can pull up a couple of comfy chairs. I'll even shout you coffee. I don't drink coffee, but thanks for the offer. Or we can go down to the station, do things the old-fashioned way. Your call. Kiwa? Tricky, where are you? Kiwa? Big to see you. Marty, what's up? 
Uh, did you see the kids just now? Out here, no. Why, have you lost them? No, 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 no. We're just playing a game. They must be just... OK, well, I will check downstairs, car park. Uh, they kind of got that far. OK, we will find them. Yeah. Oh, they're inside. Rascals. Hey, do you want me to stay? No, no, sorry. I just overreacted. Hey, there you are. You right, my name? Hey, let's get you a snack, eh? Why, it looks like you've already had dinner. Oh, must be later than I thought. How about some pudding, eh? I think there's a mango in the fridge. Yeah? <laughs> I'm gonna stay, help you out. No, no, we're fine. You do mango and I will read to Picky. Hey, <laughs> now do you have that story about hey. the naughty poo kickle? Do you? Because I love that book. Hey, look who it is. Oh, it's so good to be home. Ah, there he is. Oh, I thought I could smell mango. Uh, I am monkey. Mama's a little mouldy monkey. Hey. Maeve, hi. Maeve was just reading Picky's story. Yeah. That's really kind of you. Yeah, well, I bumped into Marty outside. Mom. Kind of just tagged along. Wow. Um, Taihua. I will let you get on with your evening. Thanks. See you later. Thanks, Maeve. A crazy day. Yeah. Did I tell you that interns are down to their final assessment? Yeah, how's that going? I have no idea how we're going to choose. Don't envy that. <laughs> so listen, you know how I said I would talk to you? You know, it's three places in two spots. Someone is going to be absolutely gutted. Anyway, baby girl, how was she today? Fine. Happy. Yeah, we played a game of peekaboo and... Mommy, come. Coming! It is a green stick fracture, but I'd cast it anyway. Sure thing. Hey, you don't have a ship. I do now. Well, what about Piggy? She's stoked to be a call hunter. She was getting sick of the same old games with me. Okay. Um, did you remember? I remembered Bunny. I would not burden call hunter with a bunny free meltdown. Right. Well, I am due in theatre. Noah, we're up. What about you, boss? It's my fun assessment. Go for it. Hey, so were you okay yesterday? Yeah, fine. Just a lot on my mind. A bit scary there for a minute, eh? Yeah, little rascals. They're one minute gone the next. It's just I have never seen you like that before. You sure you're okay? Stuff just built up, that's all. I was having a moment. Okay, well, I can come over and help out with the kids if they're a lot right now. The kids are actually the one thing keeping me grounded right now. And the still. Matt, are you free? Absolutely. Just if you need, I'm around. Huh. Hey, so if we're lucky, this will be our primary and only debridement for this wound. So what's another example of an injury where we might need repeat debridements? Uh, a gun, gunshot wound. Mm -hmm. Why? Because in some cases... Um... How many cases? Uh, third, uh, third of cases, secondary necrosis usually develops on day three or four. Exactly, and bullets usually mean soft tissue damage. Suction. Okay, you've got a bit of an ooze there. So, thinking about granulation tissue, what are the three main functions of Michael's <laughs> Just thought that bleed? We're answering my question. Oh. Esther, quick call from me, Dave. What did she say? Granulation tissue. What do microscopic blood vessels do? Oh. Come on, three main functions. IPT. Sorry about that. Uh, Diathem, please. And as for functions, immune protects the wound surface. Proliferative is new tissue and vasculature. Nice. And a temporary plug replaces necrotic tissue till scar tissue forms. Tick, gold star. Good work on that bleed, too. Okay. Bernie Min. How's that BP looking? 175 over 95. Okay, 7.0 tube. The ranger scope. Light's working, blade locked in place. Yep. All right, let's do this. You're on fire. <laughs> Papa. 
Sorry, is it urgent? I'm kind of busy. I'm sorry. What for? I think you know what for. Right, well, I'd quite like to hear you say it yourself. For getting mixed up with what happened. Mixed up? For allowing it to happen. Right, and blabbing to the press and having everyone Look, fawning over you. I obviously didn't think it was going to go that far. But so, so why are you telling me now? I see that journalist back and Detective Kelly's on your tail. Um, what's going on? You wriggled out of it yesterday, but now the net's tightening? It's between me and Harper. Oh, of course, because we couldn't go telling the truth now, could we? The truth is why I'm here. It wasn't me. I lied. I didn't get the kids to safety and I didn't really see the gunman. But the article... Yeah, it was Harper's story. Hey, she's the one that did all those amazing things, not me. People died, Selena. You can't just take other people's trauma to grab attention for yourself. People are still hurting here. Yeah, I know. So I'm owning up for it, OK? Because the truth is important and I wish like hell I'd done it sooner. I'm so sorry. Well, I don't accept your apology. What? You heard. Are going to see today? Yes, we are. Let's get the Vicuronium in and... Sorry? Well, we've already done it. Right. You're not okay, are you? I'm fine. Uh, let's get the propofol... Marty, stop. Why? You know why. What's going on? Look, you aren't up to this. I am. I just got my cases muddled for a second. I am fine now. So what about last night? What happened last night? Nothing. You I... lost the kids briefly. What? I told you it was a game. And then you acted like you were sleepwalking. Just like you are now. All right, come on, let's step out. I don't need to step out. Maeve can finish up here. I'm not a child, Harper. No one is saying that. I'm just helping to guide the team here, all right? Hey, they haven't announced it yet? No, everyone's just arrived. Huh? Well, you've got this. Well, we don't know that. <laughs> okay, is everyone here? Right, let's get started. <clears throat> Firstly, I would like to congratulate all three of you on getting this far and to thank you. You have been here through some of our most trying times and we simply couldn't have done it without you. Here, yeah, here, yeah, absolutely. And no matter the outcome today, I speak for everyone when I say you are going to go on and have amazing surgical careers. And two of those will be right here. Mm. Drew and Esther have literally begged me to hire all three of you. That's how close it was. We tried. But unfortunately, the budget has been set. So without further ado, we would love to offer the permanent placement to Harry. Wow. Well, thank you. And you know it. I'm so sorry, Stella. This was not supposed to happen. But she... Oh, there she is, just in time for the toast. Congrats, guys. So, are you going to make an honest man out of my brother this time? That's the plan. Thanks, Selena. <laughs> Look who's talking honesty. Shush. So, who died? What? No one. Yeah, you got smiles on you like rigor mortis. What's this? Nothing. <gasps> We're just happy for you, are we? Happy, happy. I know you're a bit cynical because we've been here before, but that just makes us sure we're not rushing into anything, right, Remy? Absolutely. Well, I think that it is the best news ever. We've got a wedding to look forward to, especially after all these funerals. Yeah, here, here. Well, you guys have really cheered us up. That's the only reason we're doing it. <laughs> well, we're glad you did. Congratulations, lucky lady. I knew something was up with you two. Oh, yeah, I had my suspicions. Mm, and after that steamy rendezvous with me and Bobe. Oh, I'm sorry, that was less than professional. It's fun, though. See? Do you want to grab some glasses with some bubble? Yeah. Off? Well, I thought me and Lo. Why are you staring at money like that? I'm not. He keeps insisting that he's 100%. Yeah, well, we both know that he's not. He keeps zoning out, forgetting what he's just done. OK, we both need to keep an eye on him then. I suppose. Hey, we've all been through a massive ordeal, you included, and people cope with things in really different ways. Yeah. He'll come right. We just need to look up. Hey, so you had a proper talk with Esther about what happened? Yeah, sure. No biggie. She's not worried? Not an issue. What have we got? 
This is Nina. She's got a left pneumothorax and suspected internal bleeding after a gunshot wound to the chest. Her blood pressure is 94 over 60. Her pulse is 125 and stats of 92% on 8 litres. Hi, Nina. I'm Marty, one of the doctors. Can you hear me? Yeah. We're going to need you in recess. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I got it. <sighs> I can't wait. Still hypoxic and her BP's down to 85 over 62. Still going down? Yeah. How's she doing? Still unstable. Oh, my God, Marty. What? You put the chest strain on the wrong side. That's impossible. Well, her left lung is the one that's collapsed, so I don't know what to tell you. I would never make that kind of mistake. Well, I don't care. You just need to fix this. God, did, didn't you see what he was doing? I didn't realise. Right, what's going on? We now have a patient with bilateral pneumothoraces because Marty put the chest strain on the wrong side. What? The x-ray must have been labelled wrong. Not the one I saw. This isn't my first day on the job, Maeve. I know what I'm doing. Do you, though? OK, you guys need to focus. We need to stabilise this patient and get her to theatre ASAP. I've got this. No, I've got this. Get out. You go first. No, no, after you. Do you have something to say? We've got nothing to say to you, Selena. I think it's all been said. either, but... But what? Do you not find that disturbing? Well, you're going to find these games on any playground, at any kindy. Kids have played with guns before this shooting. They're going to keep playing those games. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it, how did it get so insidious and normalised? Our kids were in the hospital that day, for God's sakes. Well, look at it this way. It's a miracle they're not quivering bloody wrecks. Well, you name me one night in the last two weeks where we've had our bed to ourselves. Maybe it's just, I don't know, their way of processing it somehow. We need to talk to them, to teach them. Yeah, we do. More than. Come here. I just had another gunshot patient yesterday and it seems like it's bloody everywhere now, like we're not safe anymore. <sighs> so how am I tracking? You tell me. You've been watching me like a hawk all morning. I'm just looking out for you. Look, yesterday. And today. Okay, I haven't exactly been on my game at times. I admit that. I guess the, the shooting affected me more than I realised. Yeah, you and me both. Yeah, I'm sorry. We should be looking out for each other. I get it. You know, I actually had a session with Fleur this morning. We talked about how to broach all the stuff with the kids. and The hospital counsellor? Yeah. Okay, is she any good? I'm thinking of seeing someone. Oh, you should. Definitely. Um, she, she has mainly been dealing with us for our dysfunctional marriage, but um, I think she knows what she's doing. OK. I'll look into it. Boys of experience, the sooner you get on top of the stuff, the better. For everyone's sake. Cute little cruiser. <laughs> You're getting bored. Yep. You want to go get a coffee? Uh, no, I just want that tablet. Uh, Oh, please, please. You are a patient, not a doctor. Just give it to me. Come on. Thank you. Give me a rundown. Oh, it's business as usual. Broken bones, tummy ache, gout. Chico, what are you doing here? Oh, he's checking up on you. <laughs> no, no, I'm helping out. Whatever. Get back to your beat. Yeah, it seems uh, Mr. Clark's gout's back. Nice. Yeah, I'll give it him corticosteroids. Uh, have you got him uh, joint aspiration? No. Should I have? Well, he has a history of uh, infections. It might be septic arthritis, not gout this time. I don't realise. Well, how would you know? I've given him the wrong prescription. Oh, well, I've just sent him to the pharmacy. You want me to go grab him? Yes, please. Thank you. I'll give him antibiotics instead. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, thank you. No worries. Now get back to your ward before you get in trouble with CC. Uh, I'll just do these uh, throughput figures for you guys and I'll get that done. OK. Now I will be in trouble with CC. Come on. <laughs> Don't worry about it. God. Uh, excuse me, Dr. Samuels. Yeah. Oh, all right. I don't have my license yet in the wheelchair. Sorry, you need to get upstairs back to bed. No, I'm helping you guys out today. 
No, you're not. Yes, Junior here. I forgot to send a patient for the x-ray, even though they came with a swollen ankle. Don't worry, I'm supervising her. Well, no, you're busy with the MVA. Huh? Hey, Marty's here now. Sorry, did you want me to do something? Yeah, but back out would be good. What? What do you want me to do? Sorry, I'm not having a go. Well, I've already spoken to Ms. Owen, so that's done. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about TK, who's wearing scrubs, for God's sakes. And? This is your department. You're in charge, so... Uh, incoming stroke. Um, let Marty take this. You carry on with the MVA. I'll, I'll sort out Jimmy. TK, you need to be in bed. Upstairs. Stroke patient. Yo, I got this. Half a winning Jew. He's at it again. I'll talk to him. When? When I'm ready. Your HOD, Marty. You can't avoid conflict. I'm not. I will deal with that in my own way. There's only one way to deal with it, and that is head on. Need a crash cart? I didn't see this patient come in. Oh, you're dealing with a stroke patient. What happened? Uh, chest pain. Go back to bed, TK. Oh, I can do this No, now. you cannot. You are not on duty. You are not in charge. So please stop acting like it. Uh, Someone had to say something. Can you please help TK back to his room? He's stable. Thank God for that. We're making far too many mistakes around here. I'm doing fine today, OK? Except for not burning TK out earlier. Have you seen my throughput? And I've made it right with Nina Owens, so Have I'm you actually... Have the job that she does? I did, actually. We had a good chat. Did you? What, about her profiting off weapons? She's a mother and a business owner doing it tough. She's part of the problem. OK. I know you feel guilty for messing up, but you do not need to defend her. There are legitimate reasons for gun ownership, you know? Are you serious? You're about to go to trauma counselling for gun violence. And maybe I wouldn't have to if Milo had been stopped earlier. By who? Security guards who are armed. That is insane! Guys, sorry, you're actually scaring me. Well, you should be scared. Hey. Bad guys don't play by the rules, Harper. You need to wake up. OK, Nina, all done. What do you think of that little beauty? The Veta 9mm semi-auto. You're buying a gun. For the shop. Shipment arrived today from Italy. And getting shot in the chest doesn't make you think twice about selling guns to randoms? Not if those randoms are endorsed gun club members. Only way to stop a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. Unless no one's got guns. No hunters or armed police or are they? Owned by me. Oh, you're as bad as that junior surgeon who wouldn't operate on me and quit. That is not what happened. Noah's friend was killed by a gun. Right here, in this building. And you know what? She died. In my arms. And if one security guard was armed, it may never have happened. That is a bullshit argument, and you know it. Maeve, step outside, please. I was defending... Now. Me. Sorry about that. That was unprofessional. I'm starting to get used to it. You have the right to lay a complaint. I'll see you get the relevant forms. I'm not apologising. Maeve, we're not here to have a go at patients. Hmm. I'm supposed to just suck it up. Look, if you're not ready to work, then I advise you take leave like Noah. That woman's attitude is offensive, and you're only the one in the wrong. This is not the place. Okay, if she was being racist or sexist, would you be telling me to just ignore it? What's going on? Raho doesn't support speaking out against gun violence. Hey, that's not what I said. But in this building, patients always come before politics. I know. But then a gunman came in here and killed my co-workers. Maeve, I... No, I'm, I'm not going to be quiet. None of us should be. She's got a point. Oh, please tell me our gun shop owner opted for an early discharge. She's still a patient. Well, I don't care if she lays a complaint. No, I don't think she will. Why, did you say something? Did you apologise on my behalf? No, no, I just reminded her that we've all been calling her. All right, are we on track for this afternoon? Yeah, do you want me to bring TK through ED to say goodbye? No way, we're way too busy. Oh, well, you, you both want to say goodbye though, right? You can go. I'll cover things here. There you go. I'll just see him later. It's fine. OK. Right, I will see you soon. Oh, come on, you stupid thing. I don't have time for this. Hey, TK's Puro Puro Aki. We haven't missed it, have we? Uh, probably the good bits. OK, I'm going to take the stairs. Mm. What, too fast? Stitches? Yeah, I just need a minute. OK, well, deep breaths. OK. Monique, have you seen today's northerner? Uh. Yep, it's all there in black and white. Right, I, I thought that things were out of your hands, but... Go on, say it. Well, it was, it was your decision. 
you text everyone and told them to disregard the alarms. You told everyone that it's a hoax. It's all here in the article, the timeline. Oh, Queen, I got it. No, 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 Quinn was murdered and so was Shazza because of you. I had no idea. Yeah, it's just you, isn't it? No bloody idea. It's unfair. No, people are dead. That is unfair. All you had to do was follow basic security protocols. Nick. But no, 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 no. You're too dumb and you're too wrapped up in your own self-importance to even think of doing that. I was injured too. That is the least you deserve. Those Nick didn't really mean that. Yes, you did. It's grief. It comes out sideways sometimes. Believe me, I know. So please forgive Nick. And forgive yourself. People died, mate. Lives ruined. TK's all broken. And it's, it's all my fault. It's not. I screwed up. Yeah, okay, maybe. But you didn't get a gun and bring it into this hospital with a plan to hurt and kill people. That was somebody else. And all of the cruel, evil stuff that happened here, that is down to him. We could have stopped him. He was stopped. Earlier. Before anyone got hurt. Don't do this, Mon. You're only gonna drive yourself crazy. It is the least I deserve, along with this wee bag. Okay. Come on, dry those tears. It's not all about you. We gotta go say goodbye to TK. speak for everyone here at Shortland Street when I wish you the very best, TK. Luckily, Esther's staying with us and that way we'll still be part of your fun. Always. Speech! <laughs> you know he will. <laughs> no, where am I? Oh, no, 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 no. It's okay, Chris. I've been practicing. <clears throat> you <run> up. <clears throat> oh, I don't know what My family, I've learned so much from you all. I've grown with you. But uh, it's time for me to, to leave now and give you my... Stop looking at a stretcher. Let us help you, please. Get off me. No, hey. Leave me alone. Now. 